So I'm going to cover this very briefly. I have some of my parameters written up here and statistics. So there are five subjects. Degrees of freedom is n minus 1 or 4. I have my two alternative hypotheses written out. And I have a cutoff value of 0.01. So if I find a resulting t statistic that is beyond this cutoff threshold, I'm going to go ahead and reject the null hypothesis. In orange is my calculations to get the t statistic for this repeated measures t test. I have my estimate for the variance, or s squared. And that's the sum of squares divided by the degrees of freedom. Okay, so I had my sum of squares calculated down here. 22.8 divided by degrees of freedom, which is 4. And so my estimated variance is 5.7. All I need to do for the estimated population standard deviation is simply take the square root of this value. Okay, so just take the square root of s squared, which is going to be 2.39. From there, I can then estimate the standard error of my sampling distribution of the means. In this case, again, very similar to what we did with z-tests when we had standard error. Okay, it's the same concept that's going on here. All we do is we divide the estimated standard error by the square root of the number of subjects. So again, you should recall that as the number of subjects goes up, as n goes up, the standard error is going to get smaller. So in this case, my standard error is 1.07. To calculate the t-statistic, again, this should look nearly identical to what you did for the z-statistics. You take your mean difference and you subtract from that the population mean difference, okay, your estimated one. So in this case, because it's a repeated measures t-test, we are trying to compare this against a difference of zero, right? We're trying to see how far it is away from a mean difference of zero in terms of standard errors of the mean. Right? So it's 4.8, we just plug in all these numbers, minus zero divided by 1.07. So compared to a mean difference of zero, I am 4.5 standard errors of the mean away from that. Okay? And that is my t statistic for this repeated measures t test. I go ahead, I look up at my t table, and recalling my degrees of freedom is 4, I can look at that and also the cutoff threshold of 0.01, and this actually does fall beyond the cutoff threshold, in which case I would go ahead and reject the null hypothesis.